everybody, Kyle here with Family Firearm Reviews, and today we've got something a little different that we don't often do on the channel. You may have seen this on some of our other videos where we used it kind of as a trial firearm for our benches and sighting in, but what this is is a Savage Arms Model 42. I bought this to do some small game hunting for me and my son. It's lightweight, it's easy to get around, it's a single shot, but it is a combo, so you don't really know what you're gonna have out there. So on the top, we have a 22 LR, and on the bottom, we have a 410 shotgun shell uh, bore there. So it's a nice little dual barrel, single shot. You can select here on the hammer, which you wanna fire, so you can cock back the hammer. If you have it on the top one, you're gonna be hitting your 22 barrel, and on the bottom, if you slick it, click it like this, boop, you're gonna be on your 410 barrel. So you can select it while you're out there. You do have a cross bolt safety here on the firearm, but it's nice if you look down inside of there, you can actually see when it's engaged. And if you flip it the other way, of course, you can see the red, red equals your dead is always what I was taught in hunter safety. You can see that it's off, but you can actually visually verify that it's off or on if you look down in that area, which is very nice. It also does have just your typical uh, blade front sight, you have a little notch in the rear. You can remove this, they do make a rail for the firearm. So you can actually put a rail on here and put a scope, but then you'll lose your regular um, iron sights there. Now this is adjustable for windage and elevation, so we're gonna make sure we're still on. It's been a while since I've had this out. It's a nice synthetic stock, so you don't have to worry about beating it up. So I got this for one of my son's first hunting rifles, really when we did small game uh, and some birds when we were doing grouse, things like that. That way you can kind of have it out there in the elements and it's not really gonna get damaged. You're not too worried about beating it up. Now, as you can see, we have the lever here for a takedown. Nice little takedown lever where you can see the brake action. And then you have an extractor here where you can pull out your 22 shell or your 410 shell out of there if it does get stuck. A lot of the time, it's pretty easy. Once you break it, they want to come out of there. Clicks back together and we've got our trigger and our cross bolt safety. So it's a nice little firearm. Now you do have dual 20 inch barrels, which is great because they're both the same length and it's labeled right here. Now they do have a takedown version of this firearm, which seems to be a little bit more popular when I see it out there. This is the non-takedown version of the 42. They also make one that is 22 Magnum or 22 WMR on top, and then the 410 on bottom, so you may have that in your area. It does have a nice little butt plate, right? This is all rubber, it's nice and comfortable. So when you shoulder the firearm, especially if they're younger, you know that 410 has a ton of recoil for anyone, but this is definitely gonna dampen that and make it more comfortable and easy for you to pull it to your shoulder. It does have some nice cuts here too. When you put your hand around the firearm, these cuts really make it comfortable for you to get in there close to the firearm when you're going to shoulder the firearm and aiming it. It's actually a really nice, comfortable, lightweight firearm. It does already come with your sling mounts. You just have to, you know, pick up the sling you want. We've got a nice inexpensive one here. Again, this is kind of our first, you know, hunting rifle for my son. It was something nice for him, but he could carry it easily around all day. Um, it was very comfortable, very lightweight. So it's something to get someone started on. And again, if you do want to upgrade from open sights, you can put an optic on here. I think the plates are like $30. Pull these screws and it'll mount right on here, but you are going to lose your iron sights. So with that, we're going to hop right into the numbers. So with the numbers, we do have dual 20 inch barrels on this firearm. We have an overall length of 35.75 inches, and we have a weight of 6.1 pounds unloaded, and throwing a 22 shell and a 410 shell isn't really gonna add a lot of weight to this firearm. So with that, let's look at the ammo we're gonna take out today. So we're gonna run just some CCI quiet 22 ammo today, because this is not a semi-auto, so this will actually function there. I do have a little bit of this still left over. Tried it out in some of our revolvers. It is pretty slow, it's only 710 feet per second, so I know there's some air rifles out there that are actually gonna go faster than these rounds. We grabbed three different styles of shotgun shells today. So we have a four shot Remington, we have a six shot Super X, and we have an eight shot Federal Target Ammo. We're gonna see how those go in the firearm, how the spread feels uh, when we're out there shooting today. With that, there are some links down below we'd love you to go ahead and check out. There's some merch shop, there's Patreon, our Reddit, our uh, Instagram is down there, so go ahead and check those out for us. And to the important stuff, let's get out there and get to shooting. So we're out here with our Savage Model 42. We're gonna take five rounds at our square down there target and see how our grouping's coming along first. So we're gonna take those first five shots and then we will swap over to the shotgun. So when we select this, I've already got the safety set. So when I do, uh, if it would accidentally go off, I'm good. I'm gonna swap, make sure I'm selected to that top barrel, and we'll go from there. So 
So that was top right corner. See if we can hold a pretty good group. If not, we'll bust the bench out and get a better actually test in there. Now we'll select our hammer. It's always hard with these muffs. That one was better. I think I pulled on the first one. So we'll see if we can keep them around that second group. That's really where I was aiming. Another high one. Seem to be grouping a little high. Yep. Might have to adjust the 22 sights down a little bit, but we are pretty close. Probably around 15 yards here. Last one. Oh. Good if I took the safety off so we know the safety works. There you go. It's a pretty tight group in that right hand corner. I've got one outlier. I'm gonna grab the bench real quick. Now we're out here with our steady ready bench and we're gonna see if we can get a little tighter group. I did group up in the right hand corner with one outlier. So we'll see if we do a little better here. Okay, we're just below the center there. Well, this works pretty good to extract your shells and everything. It's nice and easy. You can put your safety on before you get down in there. Oh, safety. That safety got me twice now. There we go, that's a pretty good little group. Aiming for that little bolt, we're getting pretty grouped up right inside of there. So they are holding tight groups, the firearm. Oh, selector went down. That one made a weird sound. Oh, can't do it with her cocked. I knew that. That's a safety feature. Pretty good little group there, right around that bolt that holds that plate on. Can't complain about that. Let's get one more and we'll call her good. We'll swap over to the shotgun and have some real fun. There we go. We'll get a picture of that group for you guys. We're grouping up to the top right pretty consistently there. Nice little setup. Aiming at that bolt. Maybe we need to adjust to the left just a hair. So let's move on to the 410 gauge. So now we're going to have some fun with the 410 side of it. I'm going to run a four shot, six shot, then a couple eight shots that I have. Those are my target rounds and we'll see how they do against these clays and steel targets.
<laughs> Nothing more fun than a little 410. Now we're gonna go 410 versus a little water jug there. I'd say it would take care of any small game we're aiming at. Nothing better than the 410 hunting machine. Now we're gonna talk about why this gun's real cool. It's so you can select whether you want to take a 22 shot or a 410 shot. You can have one in each barrel. You just need to select to the top for that 22. Or if it's something we need a little bit more spread, maybe it's a bird or a squirrel a little bit higher, uh, not quite as accurate. You've got both options in one gun. So this is a really nice all around firearm, I think, especially for small game hunting, things of that nature. So now that we've got our first shots through this, let's get our final thoughts. Savage Model 42, definitely something I would recommend for some small game hunting or groundhog hunting or things of that nature. It's got a lot of cool safety features, some that are built in. So if I cock the hammer back, I cannot open the breech, right? It starts to move but it's locked in place. So there's a safety feature. You can't, you gotta make sure that you're decocked before you break it open. It did work well, removing the shells with this little remover here. Uh, I had one 410 that got a little stuck, but a little bit of wiggle and it came right out. It's got a nice set of adjustable sights. You can adjust those for windage and elevation. Any gun that's adjustable is gonna be good, especially if you're gonna use this for hunting, right? Everybody's eyes a little different. Everybody puts it on their shoulder a little different. So it's important to have that adjustability so it's set up for you. We shot the 22, we shot the 410. We showed that if we had a longer range shot, we could use a 22. Close range shot, we could easily swap to the 410. And all you gotta do is on the bottom, now it's set up for 410. You flick this little switch, now it's set up for 22. It's just, you're selecting where your hammer's gonna strike, which is a pretty cool feature and a nice little setup, um, especially out there. If this is gonna be someone's, you know, you're taking your nephew, your son, your grandson hunting for the first time, it's great to get them out there small game hunting because you can active hunt. You can walk around, kick up squirrels, kick up bunnies, kick up grouse. It's kind of fun. And we saw the 410 can definitely hit some stuff. We shot the water jug, we hit all the clays, uh, we hit our steel falling targets. So this is definitely a fun gun and it is a great useful hunting tool. So I think that I would definitely give this a thumbs up, um, especially for a starter, or sometimes I sneak this out instead of my son and take this out hunting because it's lightweight, easy to use, and sometimes it's fun to have an option depending on what I'm gonna hunt that day. So thanks for checking out the review and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below, we wanna hear from you. Get more content from Family Firearm Reviews by joining our Patreon and checking out the links in the description.